Hi guys and welcome to the first video in a two part series of how to build and how to paint a burnt out building. Hopefully by the end of it you'll see how easy it is to put a building together and how to get a fairly realistic looking built out building. Go grab yourself a nice hot drink and we'll get started with the video. Here you'll see that I've decided to use plastic card for the base of the building. It's three millimeters thick. I'm also making ruler marks on the plastic card to show where I want the building to sit within to form a border. I've decided to score all along the door section to cut the door out. I'm going to leave this open and I think it'll look better for it. This is a top tip guys, if the needle applicator from your plastic glue decides to clog up, use a lighter to burn the end, it will instantly free up the plastic glue and you'll be able to use it again straight away. Here I'm illustrating how many scenery parts you get in one of the GW building kits and you actually get quite a lot and it's thick plastic. I'm just going to play background music guys just so you can see how I put the building together. It's a really simple process and it's really fun to do. of this kit won't go to waste I'm gonna chop them up into tiny pieces and use them as debris and rubble
I start by adding plastic glue all to the base. I then add bits of debris and rubble and add more plastic glue on top of that and build it up layer after layer until I'm happy with the result. Here I'm adding regular household wood glue, ready for the gravel mix I've prepared. The basic material that I use is made up of different sizes of gravel. It helps to make things look less uniform and makes it look a little bit more realistic. I've made a really milky mix out of the wood glue here and you can see how watery it is. This is to seal all the gravel in from the top which sometimes people forget to do. But if you want your gravel to last and not chip off when you paint it, this is a really good idea to do. After applying all of the glue and water mixture to the base, I leave it to dry for 24 hours ready for the painting stage. That's it for this video guys, in the next video we'll go over how we painted it in a burnt out scheme. I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did hit the like button and also share it amongst friends so other people get to watch it as well. And thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.